Luke Matheson, RedWolfReport.com here with Arkansas State head coach Hugh Freeze. Coach Freeze, what does it mean to you to uh, to have this job, Division One head coach at Arkansas State? Well, I wake up in the morning and feel blessed, I really do, um, because it's such a, a great university and a great town to live in, and, and obviously I enjoy the, the kids that have the blessing to coach and the staff that I have the opportunity to work with, so it's just a... You know, I'm blessed to have this job and very lucky and fortunate. And with that comes a, a little burden that I have because I certainly um, so badly want to see uh, this, this place explode in excitement over some wins and uh, know that that's been a challenge for really good coaches before me. And I'm um, hoping somehow, some way, we can, uh, we can find a way to, to pull a few of those wins out. You got a. Uh Got a team on paper that certainly looks capable of, of winning a lot of ball games, possibly even winning the Sun Belt. What has got to happen for Arkansas State to meet that goal? Well, I think we've got to change the mindset to, and we've got to win the day. You know, win each day leading up to the games, and, uh, and the games hopefully will take care of themselves. Secondly, you know, as well as I, um, you look on paper, uh, you know, us, FIU, Troy, you know, any of those. Monroe has a lot of returners, also, Middle Tennessee. You know, can win at, at, in any given night. So we, uh, you know, you need a few breaks. Right. You know, so we're gonna pray hard that we get a few breaks this year. <laughs> Open up against Illinois. Uh, what's it gonna take to go up there and, and uh, shock the college football yeah. world? Well, that's a little, a little too early to tell because I hadn't studied them enough. Um, but certainly, you know, they'll be extremely excited to open their season, which they're, you know, thinking this is their year to make some noise in their conference and. Um, so we we got our hands full going there. We know that, but it's not something that we won't be excited about the opportunity. We're, we're going to go in there feeling good about the chance we have, and, and hopefully we'll have a good plan at that time. Right. What were some of the uh, areas that you felt that there was a lot of improvement from day one of spring ball to day one of fall camp? Uh, enthusiasm, you know, and um, – Leadership from our upperclassmen and feeling more confident in, in the new systems we're in. Um, defensively, it was totally new spring, so they feel a lot more comfortable having, having a summer to work, uh, you know, in their voluntary workouts together. Right. Talking about defense, what's it like to have a uh, very capable defensive coordinator like Coach Womack? Yeah, like I said earlier, they just uh, have complete trust in him. Know that he's uh, very calm, and he's going to have his plan, and he'll stick to his plan and have an answer for things that are giving us problems and uh, just think uh, we're very blessed to have him on staff. All right. You are, uh, as a coach, you're very media savvy. You, you like talking to the media. You're very active on Twitter, talking yeah. to media and even answering fans at times. You stated many times that's very important to you. What is it about that that, that is so important to well, I think I think to be, you know, to where we want to get Arkansas State, I think the media is very important, and um, and I value the relationships I have with all the media. Now, I also understand that they have a job to do, and they'll report the good with the bad. Uh, the thing I do want them to get, I want them to get to know us as people also, and I think uh, um, they see that uh, you know we're open and transparent. You know, we're not afraid of questions. We we pretty much answer anything you ask, and. And our staff, uh, we welcome them around us. And and if they get to know the type of people we are and, and our goals to impact the lives of these young men in our program beyond football, uh, I think you, they may find themselves pulling for us also, even though they have a job to do. And But them getting out the word of how excited everyone is around here, it's going to help us in recruiting, which, as you know, recruiting is, is the lifeline, the lifeblood of the program. Right. Talking about recruiting, granted you can't talk about individual recruits, but uh, you do have eight commitments right now. Something's never been done before, eight commitments before football season. Yeah. Obviously things are going very well on the recruiting trail for you. Well, I think so. I have to give credit to our coaches. You know, I haven't been, I couldn't go out in the spring, but these coaches did. They battled hard to get kids to campus, which we really believe if we ever get them to campus, we've got a chance to get them. And uh, that happened with quite a few, and uh, you're seeing the results in the early commitments. What are some of the bigger areas that you, you're kind of your must, must win areas as far as re winning recruiting battles? You got to get yeah. kids from these. Yeah, we want to win in Arkansas, and North Mississippi, North Alabama, and West Tennessee, and Northwest Texas, and uh, Louisiana. 
you know, those those are the ones we're focused on. Got to go to California JUCOs for some needs, but you know, we want to win within that four hour radius, five hour radius of us. All right, Coach. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you so much, Luke. Thank you.